Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go continue doing some random looting. It is also Horde Day 28, uh, so I've already brought some uh, supplies over to the Horde base for repairing and stuff like that. Uh, so we should be pretty much ready to go for that when the time comes. We are going to continue to use <clears throat> excuse me, our same base because I don't really have any other options at this point. I still am not able to make concrete. Um, so yeah, we are going to uh, go out and about and spend the daytime in this episode, uh, just continuing to do some random looting. Actually, you know what we might actually do first is, uh, we do have the, I, I took the tier three quest again from the trader. Uh, that's the only POI in this entire town that is a tier three, as far as I can tell. So maybe we'll bust that out really quick. <clears throat> I might even just time lapse that one because we've already done it. And then, um do some random uh, or continue our random looting uh, after we get that knocked out so yeah let's do let's do that okay so i'll see you guys over there
All right, let's see what we get here. Rusty revolver, improved armor fittings. I think we're going to scrap that. And some 7.6 seven, or 7.92 rounds. All right, let's see what we get from this. Let's see what we get from this. Let's see what we get from this. Oh, nice. Night Stalker. What's this do? Carry 50% uh, or plus 50 carry capacity at night. You know, I think we're going to take that. Well, we will scrap this, though. Let's see what's in here. Nice. Uh, Yeah, we're going to learn that. We are going to learn that. And we'll see what's in here. Some more nerdy glasses to sell. And let's pick this up and take it with us. All right, I'll see you guys back at the trader for our turn-in. All right, guys, we are at the trader. Um, he doesn't have a sugar butts. So that's too bad. Okay. I got a bunch of stuff I'm going to sell to him. Um, double barrel shotgun great. for 60 Just coin or three head. steroids for 180. That does 110 damage. Uh, well, this is definitely the, the more valuable thing, so I guess we'll take that. Okay, now let's take a look at your inventory. Um, we are going to sell him some things here. Oh, shoot, I didn't. Okay, we're not going to sell that because I need to repair it first. But we're going to sell all of this. Get a little more coin here. Let's just sell all that, 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 that. I already have a different puffer coat, so we'll sell that one. And all of this cash here. Okay, so that gets us up to 1,700 and some odd coin. Uh, what do you have in your secret? We've got a gyrocopter wheel. I think we've already looked at this stuff, though. Yeah, we don't... We don't really need any of that stuff. Um, yeah, all that's what we've sold him. He's got some concrete, but I... Oh, 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 oh. We need... Oh, shh. That's so expensive, but we're going to need it to make the Tier 2 furnace. Oh, my goodness. Do I really want to spend that much money on this? Oh, you know what, though? Actually, here. I think this is a good time to use this. Uh, in fact, before Are we buy that, we before we buy here? that, let's go see if we can find some sugar butts, too. I got better things to do. Than all right. Stare let's take a look at your you. jobs. Uh, yeah. All the rest of these are all quite a ways away, uh, these tier threes. So let's actually do a previous tier and see if we can get one. We've already done Bart Salvage. We've already done, uh, already done Grumpy's Pub, Gambrel House. Big. We've already done that. All right. All right. Suit yourself. Yeah. You know, what? let's not take anything from him. I'm going to, there's a couple more vending machines in town. And I'm going to go see if I can find some sugar butts in one of those. Uh, and then we'll also take the Grandpa Sausage option. We're going to buy that. We're going to buy that Crucible because that's the first time I've seen one of those in our, see, uh, our playthrough. And, you know, if the, in vanilla, they're all, they're ultra rare already in vanilla. So we have a vending machine in this little pyramid house here. Let's go look at that one first. And there's also a couple more that we can check if this one doesn't have a sugar butts. All right. No sugar butts in here. Oh, you know what, though? We are going to buy these. Okay. Ah, sugar butts. Good. We'll buy those. I'm going to also buy the health bar. And I think that's all we're going to buy from there. Okay. Let's run over to the diner, too, because there's also a working vending machine there, and we'll just check that one. You guys were telling me in the comments I should be stocking up on these, and in general, I, I agree with that. We're going to start doing that. Ooh, look at that. Five jailbreakers. Very nice. Uh, okay. We don't need the rest of that stuff for now. I'm listening. Okay, so this is normally twelve thousand seven hundred fifty dollar dollar bills, y'all. Jonah Rex is blade. Oh wow. Okay, that's kind of creepy looking, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, so twelve thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. You didn't have money. The we're moment gonna I laid drink that, and we're gonna take the sugar butts. 
And now let's see how much it is. 9,750. Boom, we're buying it. Okay. That, we're future-proofing, guys. We're going to need that for the future. That leaves a 6,500 coin left. Um, Not really seeing anything here that I would like to have. Good luck with that. Uh, so let's go look and see what Raiden has. What do you offer? Okay. What you got, Mang? So this is a, a much nicer AUC. It's a C level. And we could afford it. While we still have this buff on us, you know, we should maybe think about that. Uh, here's an SMG for 45, and it's a D level, so that wouldn't be a bad one to have. Lever action rifle is an E level, but we found an E level hunting rifle. Uh, let's look at a secret. Triple pocket mods, yeah, we've already looked at this stuff. I'm kind of thinking, really, honestly, that we might consider this. This does 64 damage compared to... 46 from the one we have here. Uh, the SMG would be nice, though, too. That uses the 10 mil rounds, which we have a bunch that we've accumulated. <sighs> hmm. Standard issue submachine gun. That has a 30 in the magazine. This That has 30 in the magazine. I, I'm thinking... I don't know. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, it's done. It's decided. Now, let's also... Oh, we only have 900 coin left now. We can't afford any of those. How much does this cost? 1397 Okay. Now, I think that was a good... Okay. I think that was a good expenditure. It's, it, this does a hell of a lot more damage than the white one that we currently have. Okay, now, we're going to head back to the base, and I think we can make the Kim Bench now. I'm not 100% positive, but I think we can, so that is what we're going to do next. Okay, so, let's see, for the Chemistry Bench, let's uh, get that pinned up here. Um, so, this was the big thing that we needed, and we got it. So, we got five of those. Let's put the crucible in here for now we'll save that until excuse me the time comes for us to use it this we're gonna fix up and sell it later we got three mod slots for this weapon which is great um, I also have in here this mod and this mod that we will also put on here so actually you know what let's do this let's mod so it's base, oh, I guess it tells us it's base value already. So it's 64. And then if we put all of this stuff on it, it adds plus 12 to it. Okay, cool. Very nice. Look at this weapon, you guys. This is amazing. Okay, cool. Zero shit weapon, by the way. <laughs> so a nice upgrade from what we had before. And that we're, we will sell. How many, well, actually, how many parts do we get if we scrap this? Uh, scrap. Only one. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's sell it instead. Not worth it. Not worth it. Okay, we'll put the candies in here for now. This pocket knife I need to, to fix up, and and then we'll resell that one too. And put the, let's put the coin in there. We'll put the meds in here, and the jars in here. Okay, so let's see. We need to make ourselves a log table. So we need three logs. One, two, three. And we need some sticks and I think resin for that. Okay, so we got the log table. Um, we're going to need a beaker, which we have in here, I think. Yep, there's our beaker. We're going to need 90 plates. Okay, 30 pipes. And 
and three cooking pots. All right, that's everything. Now what we got to do is run over to our workbench and get her made. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of thirsty. Why don't we have some of this and some of this. Actually, I shouldn't be drinking a bunch of those, but I can make more, though. And maybe one of those. Okay. Okay, let's do this. It's been a long time coming waiting for this thing. So this will allow us to start making gunpowder, amongst other things. And then we can start making our own ammo. We've got everything else in place, including the ballistics table. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to make a bunch of pipe bombs. And we'll use those, uh, we'll start using those on Horde Night. Uh, so that's going to be great. That is going to be phantasmagorical. All right, let's go back to the base. Okay, let's put the chemistry station right here. And there we go. Look at this. Amazing. Okay, so we're going to start making gunpowder like there's no tomorrow. So we're going to grab all of the sulfur, all of the coal powder, and all of the nitrate. Can barely walk. Okay. Uh, oh, we need a fuel source in here, too. All right, so let's... Uh, here, what's the heaviest? This stuff is heaviest. Okay, so let's just put this in here for the moment. A couple of these so I can actually walk a little better. And we're going to grab all of this firewood out of here. And this firewood. You got Presto logs. You've got scraps. And I've got a lot more of that stuff. And we're just going to stick the firewood in here. Okay, guys. It's time for us to make a metric shit ton of gunpowder. Here we go. Very nice. Okay. What I might actually end up doing is moving this and this storage over near here. So it would make sense to have that closer. <clears throat> Very cool. All right. So, yeah, we're going to be able to uh, make some pipe bombs. So let me see. I've got uh, I got 43 pipes, and we can make more pipes in here, can't we? Yeah, it takes... Oh, man, it takes iron plating to make those. That's kind of expensive. But, you know, what? 43 pipe bombs is actually not going to be bad. We can work with that. So let's get this and the gunpowder was what we'll need. I think we have to actually go back to our workstation to make those, if I recall correctly. Oh, no, we, could, we do that in the ballistics table right here. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to let you guys go here. And in the next episode, we will take on Horde 28 in our little base. Oh, my goodness. I hope it'll hold up. Uh, but we are going to have the pipe bombs now, which is going to give us quite a bit more firepower. Uh, we've got the AUC-1, um, you know, which is much stronger than we had. We still got our shotgun shells. We now have um, uh, Sexy Rex 3, which means we're going to have more stamina and can better utilize our steel sledgehammer. So, I, you know, as long as the base itself holds up, I think we'll be fine. I'm going to take a couple of these with me, too, just for repairing these two. Well, actually, we can repair the bow in here, so I'll take care of that. Not that I don't... We probably wouldn't use the bow a whole lot on Horde Night, but... Anyway, yeah, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll see you on Horde Night 28. Bye-bye.